Hi everyone, this is Jason from Rockland Technologies and we've got a very special treat for you today. We're going to be showing you how to set up the Alpha AWS 036 ACH Wi-Fi booster on the Raspberry Pi 4. We've got one of these here from Canakit. Now, if you just came to this video to see how to do the software installation of the Alpha adapter, we're going to put the minute and second mark up on the screen for you now so you can skip ahead and do that. Um, if you'd like to, I was going to talk briefly about why you might want to use this Alpha booster on the Raspberry Raspberry Pi 4. So for those of you that may be just getting one for the first time, it's got a little Wi-Fi card on the board right here and it's very basic range, very short range and for a number of you, ourselves included, we had some issues with some drop connections and things like that. The Wi-Fi drivers for the built-in Wi-Fi are still uh, very basic and need some updates and things like that. So installing the Alpha Wi-Fi booster on the Raspberry Pi uh, is recommended. And we've got the, without the case here, it also comes with the case here. So we've got it all in the case now. If you're looking for a full tutorial on the Raspberry Pi, there's some great resources we'll put up on the screen for you on how to set it up. But essentially we've got it set up here and we're gonna go now, we're gonna plug it into our computer and we're gonna do the driver installation and we're gonna come back after we do the driver installation and plug the Alpha device into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. So this is the Raspberry Pi desktop. Just a quick note on the screen resolution, it is a little bit lower quality. Um, this is due to the screen recording program in the Raspberry Pi, uh, but we've done our best to uh, make it legible for you. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to the Rockland website so we can download the Alpha Linux driver for this. So if you click up at the top here and you go into internet, we can open the Chromium web browser and then we're gonna head over to rockland.com. And we're going to click on the support page, uh, the support link up at the top here. And we're going to scroll down and under Alpha USB Wi-Fi products, we're going to click on the link for the Alpha uh, AWS 036 ACH Linux driver. And this takes us over to GitHub for the RTL 8812AU driver. We're going to click where it says code and that's gonna pop up here and give us the option to download the zip file. And you'll see down in the bottom left corner of the screen, it has your download status there, and the download should complete relatively quickly depending on your internet speed. So our download just completed. We're gonna take a look at the driver instructions here. Um, you see that we need to do a DKMS command. So we're actually going to need to extract the driver first. We're going to minimize the browser here and we're going to go into our downloads folder. And there's our download right there that we got from the GitHub website. So we're going to right click on that and select extract here. And that creates a folder with the same name. I'm just going to rename that folder so it's easier to type in when we get into the command line. I'm just going to call it um, RT. That way when we have to put the file folder name in the command line, it's just easier. So that's where our drivers are now in the downloads folder in a new folder called RT. And we're going to go ahead and pull up a terminal window and we're going to go back. We're going to uh, quickly look and you can see there's the downloads folder. And when we go into downloads, you can see the RT folder there on the screen. Uh, so we can be inside the folder where the drivers are. Because so we have to be inside the folder where the drivers are to run this command right here. And we're just going to copy that command. And we're going to paste it in. If your machine's not allowing copy and paste, you could type it in manually. And now it's basically doing the DKMS install right now. So this process is going to take a little bit. We're going to speed it up on the screen here and we'll pick up when this process is complete. Okay, so the process was successful and we're now back to the command line. So we're going to go back and copy the second command for the driver install here. 
and we're going to paste that into the command line and hit the enter key. Again, if you're not able to copy and paste, just uh, pause the video and type the commands in. And you should see a bunch of things happen underneath the installation uh, process here. It's going to build the module. It's going to do a few other things. And the good news is, is once this process is complete, your product will be installed. If you get any errors during this process, you will want to take a screenshot of those because that can be useful in looking up on the forums or in working with us to figure out what's causing the error. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead in the video. Your installation will take longer, but we're going to skip ahead to where it completes. So now the installation is successfully completed and we're going to break away here and plug the Alpha AWUS036ACH into the computers, or into the Raspberry Pi's USB port and we should see a flashing light come on the AWUS036ACH. And now if we go up here, we have a new interface called WLAN1. That represents our alpha adapter. You can see the built-in card, the WLAN0, picks up much fewer networks. The WLAN1, which is the alpha adapter, we can go ahead and connect. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us in this special demonstration of using the Alpha AWUS036 ACH with your Raspberry Pi 4. For more resources, check us out at rockland.com or visit our YouTube channel.